Start off with New Mexico State. The Aggies, coached by Doug Martin. I don't believe it is a secret that this will be his last season there. This is the last year of his contract. There have been zero talks of an extension or anything like that. Nor should there be. However, they do not want to pay the money to have to buy him out, and well, I don't would blame them. So uh, just let it continue to ride on. They went 1-1 uh, one and one in the spring. They lost to Tarleton State, and they beat Dixie State. Yep. And the Tarleton State loss was not even close. Nope. Lost by like three-plus touchdowns. It was kind of ridiculous. Um, mostly new roster. Few signs of hope. Um, Martin's contract, you know, like I said, expires. Uh, there's pretty much zero reason for optimism. They are not projected to stay within even a touchdown of anybody, and that includes UMass and UTEP, who they uh, they host both of those. That's not good. No. Uh, really they bad. play Hawaii twice. They are expected to lose to them by more than three touchdowns in both of those games. Um. <laughs> uh, they're expected to lose at San Diego State by over 30 points. Yeah, that's a lot of points. I don't know for, that I would cover that. but For a San Diego State team that, that, that can't play offense? Struggle. But here's the thing. That day, they're going to play offense. <laughs> like, that day, they're going to play offense, Gary. Just, they're going to figure that out. Oh, it's just They're so, bad. What's the over-under? Uh, the over-under is... Uh, the, win, the win total is two. Oh, man. Uh, minus so 115 optimistic. juiced to both sides. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think basically that is saying, all right, they're going to get UTEP and they're going to get UMass. Uh, UMass. I don't know that they're going to. I guess that's because both of them are at home. I I guess, but here's the issue with the UMass game. Um, they play at Alabama and at Kentucky before that game. There may not be any players left. Yeah. I'm going to go under the two. Yeah, I, I would too. Like I, just, I don't think it's close. The, the projected records, by the way, uh, FPI has them winning one game. SP Plus has them winning two. Uh, in no universe do they have them winning three games at all. Well, because every other game, they'll be a 20-point dog. Yes. Yes. Um, and so we've yeah. seen 20-point dogs win outright, not New Mexico State. Nope. You are correct about that. Let's move on. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.